not safe for work magic it is i your host gravity groove the one in many we are legion <laughs> today i wanted to talk a little bit about playing magic the gathering <laughs> oh boy <laughs> play being the operative word right when you say you're going to play a game you envision tossing a ball back and forth if you're real old <laughs> You know, you invite you uh, think of like basketball or baseball or whatever sports ball you're into. You imagine that there's some interactivity, <laughs> that multiple people are involved in the act of play. I mean, one of the definitions of the word play is some wiggle room, right? It indicates there's supposed to be some pliability. Are you playing magic? In the standard format. <laughs> My argument would be no. And you know why? The answers are not as good as the threats. And why is that? Well, let's play detective, shall we? The threats are mostly... Mostly? They're mostly. <laughs> the threats are mostly mythic cards. Why is that, chat? They're artificially more rare to obtain, so they command a higher cost. Oh, oh, two plus two. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this math. They're engineering the game to soak the maximum amount of money out of you while dumbing it down. Buy all the mythic cards. Play them and you'll be unstoppable due to the poorly designed answers. Feel like a boss and then go buy all the new mythics. Repeat until Wizards of the Coast reaches orgasm. Never mind that the format, as a result of this, has become shitty Hearthstone. And I give Hearthstone some credit. Their interface, their, their UI, it's very slick. It's very well designed. It feels very fun to play and interact with. Their little battlefield with all the widgets you can tick and talk and poke. It's all very cute. But it's not an interactive game. Never mind that... They're so incredibly poor at card design at, at Wizards of the Coast that they printed Oko, Uro, Three Mana Teferi, Nissa, Nexus of fucking fate, that piece of shit. Oh, God. Hydroid Crisis, an uncounterable card draw. An uncounterable card draw. They could have templated that differently so that you could at least counterspell the piece of shit. And once upon a time... And Veil, fuck you. And never mind that each set for the last year or so has just been the same. It's just been a ruthless cash grab, pushing the power level of Mythics to break the fucking game, to funnel it so that there are only a handful of playable cards in Standard. Yet, Standard tends to do this. Let's be real. I'll admit that. But hasn't the problem gotten worse? Haven't the play patterns of this game gotten more and more unfulfilling to the point where it doesn't feel like it used to for some reason. I'm not the only one who thinks this. I've seen professional magic players on Twitter and other venues talk about how the game doesn't feel interactive anymore. How the game doesn't feel... Pardon me, I got an itch. How the game doesn't feel fulfilling anymore. How the play patterns are unsatisfying. How the games are often decided by who has growth spiral on the play. How standard feels like modern. Oh, my summer children. I've been talking about this problem for years. I've been saying that standard feels like modern for a long time. I've known. Call me the fucking canary in the coal mine. But I've known, and no one wanted to listen. I didn't want to listen to the old man yell at the clouds. I get it. I get it. But I only yelled. I only pointed it out because I loved the way this game was. I've played Magic on and off since unfucking limited Come on, man. Give me my Sengir Vampires. Give me my Sarah Angels. Give me my Lightning Bolts and Lana War. Give me my Mons Goblin Raiders. 
We played that card back then. The game was interactive. It was more about having a good mix of spells and creatures and interacting with your opponent in a way to try to get an advantage. Cards had limits. The color pie had definition. You weren't seeing stuff like Three Fairy, which is tempo, fuck your creature, card draw, draw a card, and passive break game, your counter spells and instant effects no longer work. All on one three mana effect. You know what was broken back then? Fucking Mana War. A 2-2 two, two for two and a blue bounce a creature. That was good enough. That was good tech. And that was a fun card to play with and play around. Those were the reasonable days. The interactive days. So I know the reason it doesn't feel like it used to. They don't want interactive games. They want one-sided stomps and big flashy bullshit that goes over the top and wins. They want the people who fork out the money for those cards to win more than the people who don't to encourage more spending. They don't give a shit about the product. Jesus. Hasbro Christ, people. All they care about is your wallet. Not you. Next time you think they give a shit about you or the community, remember the time they said they were reprinting Fetchlands? And instead they gave you a $350 limited release product. So you have the privilege of paying 350 bucks for your five fucking cards direct from Wizards. Fuck you. Fix the game, you greedy shitbags. That has been your public service announcement of the day. Also, fuck you. Uh, so now we're going to play some magic. <laughs> and just get devastated by the shuffler. Uh, so we're trying something uh, new we found uh, on uh, an arena deck list online. It was uncredited. This is Sultai Midrange that runs uh, more two drops than most of the other versions. We have Spiral, Scorn, uh, I split two and two here. I believe they had all erasures, but I, uh, I like Remorse more. Two Gusts, four Uro, uh, some interesting one drops here that all seem pretty reasonable in the four drop slot. Massacre Girl, which I have not played with at all in this format. Uh, I don't know if this is a playable card. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be a card that does a heck of a lot, but we're just going to run the list as it is. Three Nisses, three Casualty of War, five Crace, four Crisis, uh, I believe 27 lands. 27 lands. And one Cavalier of Thorns. I think the original list said something different here. I don't recall what, but I'd rather have a Cavalier of Thorns as it mills into Uro, potentially. Sideboard is some anti-aggro attack, of course. Disfigures, more Gusts. Uh, a cry, two ritual of sets, to enter the god eternal, which this is interesting against aggro. This seems like a decent card. Uh, one Ashiok and a few counter spells and more discard against more control based strategies. It doesn't matter what we play on this channel, we're always going to lose to bad luck because that's what we do. That's our life's blood here on this show. longer and longer to find matches because I think fewer and fewer people are willing to endure this shit. <laughs> Let's be honest. We of course have our stalwart companion Black Coffee with us. It's the single thing in life that hasn't betrayed us here on day 34 of quarantine. We're doing our civic duty. We're staying the fuck home. 
Also, we're asthmatic, so we're staying the fuck alive. Cool mana, bro. Cool mana, bro. Wow. Life is unfair. We drew four island and a watery grave into one swamp, into island swamp. And against the control opponent, probably not gonna not gonna be able to get there with this. Um, probably gonna get lands off Atreus, so. We are going to need a few more green, of course. Zordia's control, so we can look forward to being counterspelled for uh, eternity. By all means, absorb me. Or dispute me. This is one of the more annoying matchups in the, in the format. They just pass until you, uh, until you wish you were dead. Little do they know we're already dead inside. Uh-huh. Then they're just going to cast their, uh, Dream Crusher, and that'll be that. Mythic dispute, mythic dispute, mythic dispute. Eh? I would say I always pick the two cards, but in this case. from casualties mana <clears throat> wait they're banned oh okay If you want to gust it, I'll be happy to cast it again. I may even Tyrant Scorn this at the end of turn. It would actually be kind of nice if they uh, tried to conquer it. It's a lot of mana, though. Cavalier. If they didn't draw a counter spell in the last two draw steps, this will be cool. That works for me. They counter that in Cavalier. Here comes Dream Pony. No Dream Pony yet. Okay. Um, Uro into Uro. We don't have the mana for that yet. Hmm.
Gust, yep. Um, Cast borrower here, we'll just uh, scorn it. Somehow we're still playing magic on a five card draw here, so I guess there's that. It is one of the most annoying games I've ever played. Wish we just fucking tap out. Responsibility. Really? That, oh, I've done my hero three, thing. knowing that I have all these arrows. That's confusing. That's confusing. more islands unfortunately. Well, I do. So at least we got to draw two cards and gain six life for what that's worth. gives us a creature target even though it feels like bait we probably have to go for the casualties of war we have got three counter spells out of them here we go Welcome to Bounce Everything You Play Standard, where we have Brazen Borrower, Aethergust, Teferi, and it never fucking stops. Fun play patterns. Probably is another to carry he's gonna bounce my Uro with. Conquer's death? That's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't matter that much because we have casualties of war. Oh, buddy. The ties that bind us all. buddy. Behold, nature's true power. Okay. So this one, 
and this one, and this one. This one. Fun times. Your move, man. Double aura is a good move. Tyrant scorn it. Feeling better about Tyrant scorn right now. Still feeling lukewarm about that massacre girl though. We gonna get bounced. <clears throat> Nothing we can do about that. Let's see, we've got now we have a black, so it doesn't matter. I think we have one for us left. Two for us left. Hold on to that cavalier for a very long time. Do we have enough mana that we can try to tyrant swarm this? And if they have shenanigans to counterspell it, we can casualties of war. But no. Really hate Gold Mystic as a card in general. And they printed a new one with the uh, fucking some kind of Tiger Shark bullshit. So there's now a 5 mana counterspell creature and a 4 mana counterspell creature. So, uh... I guess we're playing all one drop black and red because that deck is just going to be everywhere and it's going to make me want to jump off a fucking cliff. So we won that from uh, five cards. Go us. More gusts. Um, what's bad in this matchup? Everything feels pretty re pretty reasonable, honestly. Uh, I guess we could trim a couple scorns. Still keep two. I want the disputes, but what do we bring them in for? Spiral? It feels wrong to bring them in for Spiral. Maybe two gusts, two disputes. Never played the stack, so I don't know what the optimal sideboard is. Cut Vraska for Ashiok.
this is why it's hard to cut spiral, right? Because this hand is just immeasurably better because of spiral. We have the fabled spiral into Uro draw. Shiok now, make sure the Uro is dead. Unless he gets an island here. Forest. Okay. Need to hit some lands and we should be okay here. Green, green, green already? No, we got green, green, blue. Um, do we want a forest or a swamp here? I think we want to make sure we have the option to cast Cav, right? And Nissa will do that. Let's grab the swamp. And... Put some off a of Fable Passage for a turn. We do really need to have a land here, ideally. Nissa here probably puts us out. Try to hit the lands, then maybe we can do spell. Wow. This Speaking of cards that allow for interactive games of magic, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you Frilled Mystic. So next turn we're going to Thought Erasure and potentially just something. This hand is mono counter spells and we're not drawing land. Not a lot we can do here. Target absorb. Why are you indicating I can cast this? Uh, I guess I can hit a frilled mystic. And that's probably game. Just counterspell this into oblivion. Okay. Did not draw enough of our discard, did not hit our mana. A lot of things went wrong with that draw. I think in a game where we're going to be counterspelled as often as we are, 
trimming some more of our high end is fine. Actually, yeah, still seems good here. There's nothing I can do to improve upon how miserable this is. Because this wizards designed it to be this way. They wanted the game to be no fun. So if we can find a black source in reasonable order, this seems like a decent keep. Thank you for scribe bugging me. Haven't found any of our counter magic yet. Sure would be nice to be able to hit back. More cards we can't cast. Well, this doesn't turn around real quick. This game's over before it began, which is typical for this product. Yep. Good times. Dispute me, daddy. As usual, our opponent always says it. We never do. Deciding whether to Oko or absorb us. Sorry, Uro. Not that it matters. Twenty-seven lands. Last game we had four. So this is really just bant simic counter spells and a bant bow. It's really just simic counter spells. We still can't do anything. Good times. Well, that was miserable. I'm seeing way too much Frilled Mystic on the ladder. Seems like you can't really play anything that costs more than four mana right now. Played a few games on and off stream yesterday and was getting counterspelled left and fucking right. It may be time to bring in um, some number of Destiny Spinners. That may be a card that should be coming in. Or perhaps just... Um, the pro blue uh, dino. Not that it would have mattered in that game. We just didn't draw land and died. Didn't matter what our opponent was playing, we were going to die the same way. Just need a third something. It's the exact opposite of what we need. Well, I mean, I guess that's something. Be Rakdos and play something red. Dreadhorde Butcher. Nope. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Might just uh, crisis for two or three here. Uh, we're not. Take the calves. Yeah, calves nasty. 
That's not the draw we wanted. Okay. Um, just keep doing this then. 27 land in the stack, people. 27. 27, and we've now played three games consecutively where we've bricked on land. <laughs> okay. You drew worse than us. Mono black aggro. Ritual. Cry. Gods. Disfigure. Out goes Gust. Out goes Discard as we need to play to the board. We trim. Trim what? I do like the idea of mono black right now though. Or something in black white just because you never have to worry about getting mystic disputed and gusted game one which as you saw in our previous game is fucking miserable and omnipresent miserable and omnipresent right henry Twenty-seven lands, sixty cards. Can we not just, you know, play line of the void? Okay, that's one black source. Nope. Two black sources. Let's get our one card draw and have you go away forever. Alright, well, we've got Massacre Girl mana already. Hmm. I'm trying to play greedy here and potentially get some actual value out of my uh, cards. Nothing, huh? 
Okay. I guess we'll just Krasis for six. We've got black, black, green, green, green. Uh, doesn't really matter at this point. Surprised we didn't get murder shrider there, honestly. Gross. Under normal circumstances, we mill ourselves, of course. More rituals of soot than we need. Together, we will prevail. The land shall conquer you. So now we bounce this and he's dead. Do not underestimate my fortitude. At least that was fairly straightforward. We did things to each other. I drew better. I won. Not a living nightmare filled with frilled mystics. Let's try one more.
There's no blue in this hand. <sighs> Fuck! Okay, we just lose. That's that's life. Jesus. Threw away a hand, got the exact same hand. It's a losing hand. Fires, okay. Holding up Gust. Gust me, Daddy. You know how I like it. Got Pelucra Onos coming up next. Is it Brew? Okay, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Did you just get Fires Run Bone Crusher now? <clears throat> Legion Warboss? Okay, this is a Brew. We're brewing. We're going to Brew School. Drinking some Brewskis. Legion War Boss. I've tried Legion War Boss on a lot of my builds. The big weakness is, of course, everyone's running Bone Crusher. Would you please just fuck off? Thank you. Play the Bone Crusher so I can brask it. Bossing me. If we get one more land, we can Alucranos and fight it. That would be nice. Damn it. Sure, sure. No justice. Guy can't brick for a half second, huh? We need blue, black, green, blue. Why the auto cap trying to do me dirty like that? Uh, 
don't know if he kills any of our stuff. Fuck! Return King is right! Shit! It must be nice having a horse shoot directly up your ass. Oh my god. This fucking deck. This is the timmiest fucking competitive deck in the history of standard magic. It's gotta be. The timmiest fucking shit. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You drew your super combo, Yu-Gi-Oh! Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Shit is so lame. Duresses. More Aether Gusts. Actually, all Aether Gust gets is Cavalier. Less Aether Gusts. We don't have good tools for this matchup. Um, gosh, we have awful tools for this matchup. Whereas my build of this has Epic Downfall as a 3 of in the 75. This deck just has you dead to Jeskai Fires forever. Yep. Just dead to it. I guess Soot kills Warboss and Bone Crusher. Hmm. What else feels bad here? I guess this is probably too much too much discard, right? I just think this is a bad matchup. <clears throat> I don't think there's any way to mitigate not having big creature removal. And the deck is just mono giant creatures. <clears throat> We're not winning with six cards. We're probably not winning with seven, so I'm just keeping it. Really doesn't matter. Kind of figured in this place later. around that a little bit. Time for here goes nothing. Good casualties of war.
Pactos? Okay. Pactos? Fucking Hactos. Um. Do I run a Cry of the Carnarium for that? Fucking Hactos. Shit's getting weird. Is this a. Is this a deck? Hactos. Jeskai. I'm just going to jam it in there. Hey, don't take that out of context. You're filthy. Well, we've got one scry. <clears throat> Lots of control against the Legion War Boss start. Sure. If we can find our blue source or run off some lands here, this will be reasonable. So we spiral on four land, and we need to find one more. We can wipe out the Legion War Boss. We found our opening plays another creature here because we got at least three triggers off the uh, Massacre Girl. This one out. No more, trust me. I have a plan. Well, we're still one for one of them. It's not ideal, but it's what we gotta do. Surprised he would leave that in there knowing we've run Massacre Girl. Maybe he doesn't have any better options. Are we already at Kenny Fires o'clock? Wow. Yep, game's over. Unless this card is Casualty of Wars, game's over. That's more like it. Nope. Um. Not enough to also cast a second spell, though. I protect that which cannot protect three. itself. We had a breeding pool. Harness the elements.
One more potential turn to try to draw a casualty of war. Oh, we wouldn't even be able to cast it, would we? Yep. That's just bad matchup roulette there. There's no win in that match <clears throat> with the cards in our 75. You absolutely need a deck that's got uh, epic downfalls or bedevils or just some big removal because they're just all big creatures. And it's very easy to actually just run them out of cards with a deck more like our, uh, our red black ox build. But no win in that matchup. And uh, that's it for today. We've done uh, three matches. We've lost two of them because, again, you know, we're just great at magic and great at drawing cards. And uh, the format isn't a dumpster fire at all. So uh, we'll see you next time. And hopefully um, the draft will get here soon so we can do some drafts. And we will put uh, one of the first player drafts on here, which we will, I'm sure, train wreck inevitably. We'll probably disconnect in the middle of it. It'll be great. Um, so hopefully you come back and watch that. I know there's lots of people you could be watching. Thanks for spending a little time with me. I've been Gravity Groove for Not Safe for Work Magic, and I will see you later. Wait for it. <laughs>